One of the most interesting and potentially life-changing developments is the creation of a concrete canvas. It's basically a material that consists of all the elements of concrete, but it's flexible enough to be turned into any shape. However, once it's been submerged in water and given time to set, it becomes completely solid. Now, the implications of this new technology are far-reaching because it's going to allow people to erect permanent structures, but in a fraction of the time that it would have done using traditional building techniques. The concrete canvas begins life in waterproof plastic sheeting for easy transportation. Inside, the canvas is wrapped around an inflatable lining, which will be blown up to create a building 50 square meters in size. But first, water must be piped inside the package to start the process of dampening the cloth. It should take about 800 to 1,000 litres. Right, OK. But essentially, there's no measuring. You just fill the sack entirely yeah. with water. The concrete cloth is made up of fibres which evenly absorb water until all of the cloth is saturated. The inspiration came from the plaster casts wrapped around broken bones in hospitals. Once the cloth is completely soaked, the process of hydration begins and the plastic casing can be removed. At this point, there's a window of around five hours for the canvas to be raised into its final position before the concrete starts to set. The next stage is to fit the blower. The blower's on. on. Blower. The only other bit of gear you need is something to drag out the cloth so it's completely unfolded before it's inflated. I still can't imagine what it's going to look like, but... I can't believe that that little blower is lifting that weight. It's amazing, isn't it? The speed with which this technology can be used may allow huge improvements in how the world reacts to humanitarian crises. A concrete canvas building has good thermal properties, so whatever's inside is kept either cool or warm, and it can even provide a sterile environment for surgery. Yeah, you know, I didn't realise there were going to be doors on it. Has it got a door? <laughs> Look at that. Goodness me, you thought of everything, didn't you? You can actually get in it. <laughs> and just a day later, it's ready to walk in and use. It's strong enough to stand on, endure hammer blows and even the heat from a blowtorch.